Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry for not uploads recently, since the beginning of this month or probably last year. Um, just been didn't really have any videos to film or any cars to film. Um, but this channel is going to be one ten scale based now. Just like seems like there's far too many uh, small scale car or channels on here, so I'm just grow my brand or I'm grow my channel with one ten. Today I've got a 1937 Studebaker Express pickup truck. Um, I just took this. Um, took this out of the um, packaging from being in storage. Um, a problem with this, I'll just start with the problems off the first. Is the wooden right here? Since this is my second ever winding scale car I got ever. Oh no, was it? On the third one I think it's going over. The first and the second one with the Taka Torpedo and the Pagani Zonda. Yeah. Um, is this wind mirror? It's really fragile, so it does that often. So it's just a matter of time before it breaks off. Um, got the screw with the Ebaker logo there. Um, I'm looking at tripods for my phone, but seeing as I've got a cover case on my phone, it's a bit hard um, because my tripod doesn't fit this camera or phone. Um, at the engine, oh, I've got the holdament, holdament of course. See there, the engine. Um, pretty standard. See all the stuff in there. Yep. There's nice um, grill or a bumper, front bumper. Nice headlights. Quite old tires with um, the hubcaps and Stubaker, as you can see. There's my final case, of course. Hello! <laughs> um, the grill it suits around to the side, it ends there, as you can see. Door handle, of course, there's a step. I wish I kept my other two pickups, apart, oh, especially one of them. Um, that was a 53 40 F100. But we, um, we can't go back in the past, unfortunately. I'm gonna move forward. There's the steering wheel on um, the speedometer. Gear stick. Um, the brake pedals and the gas pedal and clutch are down there. Um, this is the first time you're actually seeing the details of the inside because I haven't actually really taken all notice or taken a closer look inside it. So, um, running as well. Here's the bench seat. Of course, it is at the back, it's two back thing. And the wheel, oh, it's got these nice um, wheel rooms so that you can hopefully see. It's got like, um, like, like these um, oh, cutouts of the wheel room. The rear, it's got the license plate with the name of the truck, the brake light, too, um, tailgate, slips down, it's just a dusty, um, 
gonna be a wind bar. Send all the right through to the cab. On there's the rear version mirror. I'm guessing that's the oh I guess cap. And here is the passenger side of the cab. Here's the glove compartment. Um, looks like it's your stereo there as well. I'm not sure what those knobs are there for. But, um, what's different on this side, it has a spare wheel. And hopefully, I can't really see it because it's a dark colour. But um, you can hopefully, if you look up the real truck online, you'd find this that wheel I'm on about. Um, so it's really nice. It's got this chrome thing that looks over. If you can see down there, it's got windscreen wipers. So, um, thanks for watching this review of the 1939 Stubaker Cooper Express pickup truck um, by Race Signature, Lionel of Road Signature by Yetming. You can't get this one anymore, um, unfortunately. It's a really nice truck. Um, if there's any other cheap Y10 scale you can get on Amazon, um, leave me the link in the description. Oh, let me, leave me the link in the comment section down below. I'll check them out. Um, it only has it only can be video or cars that would fit in my collection, like exotic cars or muscle American muscle cars. Um, so. Um, no Japanese, no import stuff, like Japanese and JDM. So, thanks for watching, please come like and subscribe. Um, until next time, have a great day, keep collecting those wine tins, and peace.